the last section in chapter three is complex zeros and the fundamental theorem of algebra, which I'll just call FTOA, it's a lot less writing. And we're gonna start out with, what is I? So the, probably the best way to think about I is the square root of negative one. Now, another way to think about it, if you square it, I squared equals negative one. You just square both sides of this equation and you get I squared equals negative one. So I squared is negative one. What's I cubed? Now these numbers need to follow all of the regular algebraic patterns. So I cubed is I squared times I to the first power. You add the powers together, you get I cubed. And I squared is negative one times I. So I cubed is negative I, I to the fourth. You can write that as I squared times I squared negative one times negative one equals positive one. And I to the fifth, that's I to the fourth times I. I to the fourth is one, so this is just I. Now you could go and do really high powers like 91. Uh, how many, you wanna pull out as many I to the fourths as you can, and then the question is how many are left over? That is a good question. So I can get 88, which would be 22. And then there'll be three left over. So I to the fourth, this is one to the 22nd power times I cubed, which you said was negative I. So this is just one, and this will just all come out to be negative I.